This is a Motorola Freescale XX128 development board. Um, the Ulink NT can now support this device through the BDM, and this BDM uh, is different than the 32-bit BDM. This is, chip is 16-bit. Only three wires are used. One is background, one is reset pin, and one is the ground pin. Currently, I have programmed the uh, one of the programming there. It's ADC, so it's showing some uh, analog value here. So this is a power button and power arm. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to program this chip as well as the newly added feature in 1.14 that allows you to unlock the chip using the built-in command instead of the, uh, the script. This is Ulink NT 1.15. Go to the config, select 128 is this target, 9S120X. Uh, here and let's power on the Ulink NT and we can detect you can see flash is detected here and the display shows nothing because we are entering the debug mode and we can read the entire flash this clock speed here cannot be selected because the uh, the way that BDM works has to use half of the clock of the crystal speed. Here is the flash and only FC00 here. There is a very small program it's in this area. So let's say I want to erase it. Okay, let's erase it. So I have erased it. Now I power off and power on, it no longer have any display because this has 146 or something. That's the analog value. So let's try detect again. And it says secure, but in this case, the flash is erased. So this secure, I can still program it. So the way to load the program now is I have allowed to load the hex file. And this program is using the S19 here. And data is loaded here. So now I can program the flash. And done. Let's take a look if flash is there or not. So power on. You see, program is programmed. Now let's do detect one more time here. And you can see the flash is secured we can no longer enter to BDM on mode. The reason for that is once flash is loaded, there is a, f is a flag in the flash telling if the flash is secure or not. If flash is secured, you are not allowed to read back. Let's say I am erasing it. There, let's read it. Can I read anything? And read back will fail. Okay, you know, data is completely garbage here. Not only that, if I would take again and try to erase it, let's say I want to erase it. And even though it shows flash erased, but let's say power off, the data is still there. So we are not able to prog uh, program erase the chip as well as read it because the flash is secured. Uh, in the previous software, I created a script to unlock it. Now in 1.15, I can unlock the flash and say, I'll, first I detect it, then unlock and now if I power off, power on, the data is erased, the unlock will erased as well as now I can detect, detect flash is there, secure but it's erased. So to not using the lock flag which is here. Uh, we have the flash here. This. So this is data, but we also need we need to modify this flag 7FF0F. to FE. Okay, 
I don't know if you can see it. This is a, initial value is FF. Now I change it to FE. Let's program one more time. Okay. The pro let's power off. You see, we have programmed it. And now let's detect it. We no longer see the flash is secured. Not only that, uh, let's display the... And I'm going to initialize it, see if we can read back. With that flag turned off, we are able to read back as well as reprogram it. And now I can erase it if I want to erase it. And then power off, power on, it's erased. Okay, let's program back. And, oh, let me double check if we still have the data or not. Oh, I need to I need to first um, enter the debug PDM on, then we can let's program the flash. And now yeah, now it works. So I need to enter the BDM on, okay? It was BDM off. So in conclusion here is uh, we are able to program one twenty eight kilobyte flash on this device as well as a built-in command to unlock the flash if it is it's locked we were not able to unlock the, the um, flash and read the data back it's a it's a secure but we are able to reprogram the, the, the board